All right. One of those in indispensable principles is the separation of church and state. Okay, with that, um, very good dialogue. We appreciate that. Let's uh, move on so we can get to all the panelists and uh, cover a number of areas. Chad, a lot of good from the news front, please. Uh, well, question, please. Where in the Constitution is separation of church and state? Uh, well, question, please. Where in the Constitution is separation of church and state? Uh, well, question, please. Where in the Constitution is separation of church and state? Uh, well, where in the Constitution is separation of church and state? Seventeenth Amendment I would not repeal. That's the amendment that puts the power to uh, uh, for the, the state government to determine who represents you in Washington. Um, I support that. I, I mean, I support the free election process of that. If you can, I'm sorry I didn't bring my Constitution with me. Um, fortunately, some members don't have to memorize the Constitution. Well, can you let me remind me of what the other ones are? Can you let me remind me of what the other ones are? Can you let me remind me of what the other ones are? Can you let me remind me of what the other ones are? Let me just clarify. You're telling me that the separation of church and state is found in the First Amendment. The government shall make no establishment of That's in the First Amendment. All right, 8.15 here on 1150 AM. I'm Denise Hill. You are listening to a live debate here at Wyoming University School of Law this morning between U.S. and Kennedy. Christian is Bill Donald. And uh, let's move on to the next one. Mark Darwin is still here today. I think you both position yourselves pretty independent voters. And if this election is about anything, it's about the satisfaction of the current leadership. So I'd like to know. Or would you please give us one or two examples of where you agree with your party's leadership and where you think you differ with the party's leadership? Mr. Kuhn, why don't you start this time? Um, I've given several examples in the past. Um, I'm going to assume, in my case, you mean my party's leadership.